Hello everyone and welcome again to my home kitchen. So today I'd like to introduce another Italian inspired Japanese dish. This dish is very common and very popular in Japan and it's called mentaiko spaghetti. Mentaiko is made from cod roe and it's been seasoned and brined. It's very similar to botaga uh, but botaga is dried so the uh, mentaiko I use in this pasta is much more creamier. And that's topped off with some shiso leaf and some noli seaweed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's crack on. Prepare a large pot of water ready for boiling the spaghetti. Add some salt to the water. So for one portion, I'm going to use one, one piece of mentaiko. And that weighs in at 24 grams. It's a little tip for you now. When cutting the mentaiko, just to protect your chopping board, because it might discolor it, just use a, a just use some cling film, and then you can cut open your mentaiko like so. And I just use the back of the knife just to scoop everything out. You don't necessarily want the sack in, in with your pasta because it's quite, obviously quite chewy. You want this pasta to be really creamy, so you want to avoid putting this sack in. So use the back of your knife just to scrape out all the mentaiko. There we go, it comes up very nice and cleanly. Put 100 grams of spaghetti into the boiling water. Follow the instructions on the packet for cooking times. So take two shiso leaves. These are, these are called oba in Japan. And you've probably seen these before. They're commonly used in sashimi. So you've probably seen them with some very thinly sliced daikon radish. And these are normally put in front of the radish and then you've got the sashimi in front. So we're gonna use two of these. Uh, these are actually part of the mint family, believe it or not. So what I'm going to do is take off this stem, so, because these are quite tough. Then I'm going to roll this up into a cigar, and then slice this very thinly. So for 25 grams of mentaiko, we're going to use 10 grams of butter. This is salted butter. If your noli seaweed has been lying around in your cupboard for quite some time, it would have been exposed to air and it would have gone a bit soggy. You want it to be nice and crispy, so a little tip for you now. Over a small flame, you can dry out the noli like so. Lovely roasted smell of the seaweed. Hopefully, it will start getting crispy again. Melt the butter slightly in the microwave and then add the cod roe. This is kombu cha which translates to kelp tea. If you cannot get your hands on kombucha, substitute with a pinch of salt. Add half a teaspoon of kombucha to the bowl and then give it a good mix. Just before the spaghetti is ready, collect and keep some of the starchy water for later. At the same time, if using a metallic bowl, heat it up with a couple of ladles of the hot water. Drain the pasta and the bowl. Next, add the cod row into the bowl. Add a couple of tablespoons of the pasta water collected earlier. Add the spaghetti to the bowl 
and give it a good mix. Serve on a plate. Finally, top it off with the finely cut shiso leaves and nolly seaweed. So I can't wait to dig in. So this is the finished product. Here you can see the thin strands of shiso leaf and the nolly seaweed. And if you look really closely, you can see the individual eggs. Itadakimasu! Mm. So nostalgic. Mm. Slight bitter, bitter taste to it, which is really nice. Then you've got the creaminess from the, the butter. Slight hint, slight tinge of chili as well from the mentaiko. Let's get some of that seaweed. The lovely, refreshing shiso leaf. Super. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, bye bye.